Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAddict.com. As a woodworker, we have plenty of options of fasteners when it comes to finish nails, brad nails, and staples. And as a beginner woodworker, you may find it a little bit overwhelming to decide what size fastener you should buy first. So in this video, we're going to go through all the sizes, and at the end, I'm going to tell you what I think you should buy first, second, and third. Stick around. Hope you enjoy. I should preface this video and say that when we talk about gauge, we're talking about the diameter of the fastener itself. So 15 gauge is going to have a smaller number, so it's going to be a larger uh, diameter. And 18 gauge is going to be a larger number, but it's going to have a smaller diameter. We're going to first start with our trim nailers, the 15 and 16 gauge trim nails. Now typically they can shoot two and a half inch long fasteners and are used in interior and exterior carpentry such as installing baseboard, chair rail, door and window casings, door frames, etc. Now the 15 gauge nails are collated at an angle which allows the nailer to reach into tighter spaces. Now in my opinion what I've seen out there is the 15 gauge is typically used in exterior trim work and the 16 gauge is used in interior trim work, not to say that they can't be used interchangeably, but that's what I've noticed out there. Uh, we, there's a lot of talk here on uh, trim work and uh, finished carpentry and things like that. We're woodworkers. Well, there's an application for, in my opinion, a 16 gauge nailer in the woodworking shop. Assembling cabinets, uh, installing trim work on those cabinets, uh, a little bit larger, beefier stuff in the woodworking shop. Now when talking about the 15 and 16 gauge finish nails, they are going to produce a larger hole just due to the larger diameter fastener, which means you're going to have a larger hole to fill in your work. Not a big deal if you're using it in uh, cabinet assembly and things like that where it's not going to be seen, but in trim work and things like that, you are going to need to fill that hole. The next size fastener is the 18 gauge brad nail. Now typically these brad nailers or nail guns can shoot a fastener up to two inches long and it's a smaller diameter nail so it's going to have a smaller hole that the, uh, it's actually going to produce. It's great for smaller trim applications and it's a great uh, all around nailer in the woodworking shop from assembling cabinets, putting trim work on cabinets, adding face frames and then also jig work. If you're making some quick jigs the 18 grade brad nail is an excellent solution uh, for those tasks. An 18 gauge brad nailer is the main nailer in our woodworking shop as it's very versatile in the size and also its uh, holding capacity. Next is the smallest nail type fastener we have in the lineup with a 23 gauge pin nailer. Now pin nailers typically can shoot up to a one inch fastener and they're a very small uh, fastener which means they're going to leave a very small hole or no hole at all. Uh, its perfect application is delicate trim work, face frames on cabinets, any application where you need to tack your part in place and wait till the glue dries. These smaller nails aren't going to give you a lot of shear strength or pull away strength. Again, you're just tacking your part in place, applying a little bit of pressure with the pin nail until that glue can cure and permanently hold the two pieces together. Our final mainstream fastener is a non-nail type. It's the crown staple. It comes in a half inch wide or quarter inch wide and they typically shoot a fastener up to an inch and a half long. Now crown staplers are great for specific applications um, in the woodworking shop for thinner material, quarter inch plywood, quarter inch MDF, hardboard, pegboard, masonite, things like that uh, where a brad nailer will not uh, perform very well just due to the nature of the small head and the very thin material. A staple is going to grab that in two different spots and then it's going to bridge that gap and really hold that material tight to your workpiece. Uh, applications for that are backing for cabinets, drawers, things like that uh, is where they excel. They also do very well in uh, upholstery and things like that. Now you can get specialty type upholstery staplers which I would recommend if you do that type of work a lot. So we've covered the 15 gauge, 16 gauge, 18 gauge, 23 gauge pin nail and then the crown staple. What would I recommend the first user to buy? Well, you could buy a combo kit and get a variety in one shot, but if you're going to uh, piece together uh, gun by gun uh, or fastener type by fastener type, right away for sure, no doubt about it, with the 18 gauge brad nail. It's very versatile. The size hole or size fastener to the strength you get is incredibly versatile in the shop and has plenty of applications and holding power. 
After that, I would highly recommend a 23 gauge pin nailer for the smaller, delicate type work that you can drive that 23 gauge pin nail and have a very small, non-visible hole that you don't need to uh, fill. It's great for projects, again, that you can just tack in place and allow the glue to dry. It kind of acts as a third hand. After that, if you want a larger unit, you can definitely go to a uh, 16 gauge uh, finish nail for your larger applications, assembling cabinets and things like that. Your 18 gauge brad nail will do the same job, but your uh, 16 gauge nail will do it a little bit better as it's a little bit larger nail and will do a little bit more holding power. Let me know below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Guys, I'd love to start a little conversation down below. What's your guys' opinions, thoughts? Uh, if there's a new woodworker out there, um, throw some questions down there. If you guys are an expert woodworker, uh, ha let's have some conversations. I'd love to provide some feedback as well. I strongly encourage you guys to follow us on social media as we do project updates, product review updates, and exclusive social media giveaways. I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Addict. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.